Good morning, dear students. Thank you, all of you, for being here. This is Mr. Maurice, and I'm pretty happy to be here once again with you in a new week. Today is Thursday, 19th January 2023. For today's class, we continue learning about past, how to express past. In the previous classes, we studied well, the use of the past simple tense, we know some concept. Today, I'm going to show you how to practice with regular and irregular verb. For the better understanding, dear students, please let me share my screen. Okay. So, in the previous classes, I show you that in English we have two different types of verbs, regular and irregular verbs. Today, we are going to focus on how to switch regular and irregular verb from present to past. Here, we have one, two, three, four and five regular verbs. Something quite important in the regular verb is we only need a suffix to switch this verb from present to past. For example, here we have the verb stop. Stop is in present. What do we have to do to switch this verb from present to past? Well, we actually duplicate and we have the suffix ed. You see? Present, past. Then we have the verb want. This is the present and I'll show you the past. Next verb, study. The present, the past. And then we have the verb play, present and past. And finally, we have the verb dance, present, past. Well, as you can see, we have the suffix, suffix ed. You see it, right? This is the suffix that we need to switch regular verb from present to past. Good. Now, let's go back. So, you already, you already saw how to switch regular verb from present to past. Now, it's time to learn. As you can see, there are some that, that we need to add some suffixes or extra letters at the end of the word. Okay? So, this is called spelling rules. When it comes uh, to changing uh, the, the structure or the letters in the regular verb, okay? So, for example, the verb stop, stopped, want, wanted, and so on. I'm going to show you. Please, give a minute and I'll show you in a, in a better way. There we go. Okay, perfect. So in here we have the first part. As you can see, we have three different columns. And the column number one, okay, and the column number one we have um, the verb in present like look, cheat, float, boil, sail, and snow. Okay? In the primera columna, como ustedes notan, pues tenemos los verbos regulares en presente. En la segunda columna vamos a añadirle el sufijo ed. Este sufijo nos va a ayudar a transformar verbos regulares pues a verbos irregulares. You see? The past looked, cheated, floated, boiled, sailed, snowed. 
Continuamos. Tenemos otros tipos de verbos, como ustedes pues, pueden observar en la primera columna. Lo recurrente de este tipo de verbos es que termina en la consonante Y o Y. Lo pueden observar en la primera columna. Carry, reply, marry, study, and supply. Perfecto, muy bien. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Para cambiar esto de aquí, de presente al pasado, la Y se va a eliminar y vamos a reemplazarla con la I latina y añadirle el sufijo ED, como observas en la segunda columna. Carried, replied, married, studied, supplied. You see? Perfect. Let's continue. Okay, now we have another kind of verb. Una vez más tenemos las tres columnas. Como ustedes observan. En la primera columna a estos tipos de verbos como flap, back, seep, nod, and top. Cuando son verbos cortos o de una sola sílaba, vamos a duplicar la última letra, como lo observas en la columna 2. ¿Ves? ¿Sí? Lap, lap. Como observas, la P se ha duplicado y hemos añadido el sufijo ED. Lapped, backed. Sit, nodded, talked. Okay? Perfect. Let me show you something else before you live in. Good. Entonces, como podemos observar, como podemos observar, los verbos regulares en este caso tienen varios tipos de reglas. Les repito aquí una vez más. Para este tipo de verbos, verbos cortos como stop, Stop, stop. A este tipo de verbos le duplicamos la última letra y le añadimos el sufijo ed. Stop, stopped. Para otros tipos de verbos como want, simplemente le añado el sufijo ed. Wanted. Como acabamos pues, de estudiar, a los verbos regulares que terminan en y, como observas, precedida de una consonante como es la letra D, dupli, perdón, cambiamos la Y por la I latina y aumentamos el sufijo ED. ¿Y sí? Study, studied. Tenemos otro tipo de verbo que también termina en Y, pero esta es precedida por una vocal. Como play. Su pasado es plate, plate. Y por último tenemos verbos que terminan en la vocal E, como dance. A este tipo de verbos simplemente le añadimos la letra D para transformarlo en pasado. Well, that's it, dear students. We have already studied the regular verbs. Remember, there are some spelling rules that you need. I want you to study. And I need you to study. Remember, short words such as words like stop. Okay? So you duplicate. Stop. Then uh, words like study, we drop out the letter Y and we write or we add the letter I and then the suffix ED. Study, study. There is another kind of verb like dance. This verb that obviously ends in the letter E, we just add the letter D at the end like danced. All right? That's it, dear students. Thank you very much for having me. If you have any question, please let me know it. Goodbye.